Good morning. I am Dr. Bornali Datta, Director of Respiratory Medicine in Medanta, the Medicity. In the last three months, we have all been battling COVID-19 infection at different fronts. And today, I will address a few doubts regarding oxygen therapy in COVID infection. So the main question that everybody has is, uh, why and when is oxygen needed in COVID infection? Now, as you are aware, COVID infection is divided into mild, moderate, severe categories. The ones who have mild disease will not require oxygen. The ones who have moderate and severe disease, however, will require oxygen at different levels. So this is the indication for use of oxygen in COVID-19 infection when people have moderate, severe or critical illness because of it. Secondly, everybody wants to know what are the symptoms that indicate that oxygen is required. So for a lay person who's sitting at home and who has COVID infection, how do they know? So there are two very clear cut things. One is your breathing rate, respiratory rate more than 24 breaths a minute or your oxygen level as measured with a pulse oximeter, which we are all familiar with now. So if a pulse oximeter says, oxygen level less than 94%, then these are both indications for requirement of oxygen after medical evaluation. If you have fever and cough and you're otherwise comfortable sitting at home, that is fine. You must always be in touch with a healthcare worker, of course. But what about home? What are the indications of using it at home? Now, one thing to remember is that oxygen is, a, a, is like a medicine. And it is something as a pulmonologist, I recommend often for patients with chronic lung disease like COPD and interstitial lung disease. And the indication there is very different. They will be using oxygen in the long term. In COVID, we are dealing with a situation with an illness that will rapidly change, rapidly evolve and the patient can rapidly deteriorate. And that should not be, we should not give oxygen at home and feel complacent that we have given the treatment. It's so very important to understand that if a person's oxygen level is dropping, the care he requires can only be provided in hospital, the care and the evaluation. So that should not be confused. But yes, what is the role of oxygen uh, at home, in the home setting? One is that in Gurgaon, obviously we all live in societies and many RWAs, resident welfare associations, have taken uh, the onus of procuring oxygen cylinder or concentrator and keeping it in a centralized area in case there is any uh, emergency situation with any resident. And then the oxygen can be provided while waiting for the ambulance to come and take the patient to a healthcare service, to the hospital or to a COVID care center. So that is, that is definitely one uh, situation where oxygen can be kept as a uh, safety net. Uh, second very important thing is that we are seeing uh, a lot of lung uh, changes, a lot of pneumonia because of COVID. And when these patients recover and we discharge them home, they obviously re uh, receive oxygen in hospital, but when they go home, they may also require oxygen. So that is an important point to note that post-COVID recovered patients who go home may require oxygen for a period of time, something like two to four weeks. It may be much lesser also, depending on the severity of the illness. So that is another situation where oxygen has to be provided at home and one must therefore know all the ways of giving the oxygen to the patient.